What's going on guys? Andrew here back at you with another video and um, yeah, this is top five Fridays week and as all, it, this is a special one because you know coming up on Wednesday is Valentine's Day. Now if you're like me, you don't have a Valentine uh, that is separate from yourself, although I have my I have my uh, lovely dog here. She's my Valentine, aren't you? Aren't you Montana? Oh yeah, she's my Valentine, huh? Yeah. Um, but basically, uh, we're doing top five uh, romantic horror, romantic horror films, or romantic themed horror films, like you, you, films that have romance. Now, there are actually a lot of films that I I could have put on here that um, I decided to leave off. Um, I could have cheated and put, like, um, Conjuring 2. If you see interviews with James Wan, he actually says he prides himself in, uh, that being a film with a lot of romance. I think the, it is a very, very, um, romantically involved film. I don't, wouldn't consider it really a romance-centered film, but it's something that, it has a lot of good romance in it, so take it for what it is. Um, also, so there's some ones that were on the fence that I was gonna put on, but I didn't. I didn't put any films in the Twilight Saga. They're like on the border of being horror, but yes, they are just strictly romance, and the horror elements in it are kind of more coincidence. Um, I do, I, I really like this, the whole saga, so, you know, you can hate me, whatever, I don't care. Um... Another one that I actually have not gotten around to watching yet, but still want to thank Sam Edwards if you actually, um, if you watch any of my videos. Um, this one called Spring. It's a romance film and a horror film, like both does, it's like an artistic kind of uh, film. I have not watched this one yet. I'm waiting till spring. Yeah. Um, I'm hopefully I can get to watching it next month or so, so. Um, but yeah, that's going to start this list. Coming in at number five is Red Riding Hood. Now, I really, really enjoy this film. Um, it's not like blow your socks off or anything. It's, it's just kind of more like a, you know, you put it on and it's, it's an enjoyable watch. It's maybe something you watch like once a year or once every other year if you're not into rewatching films that much. Like, I mean, it's, 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 the horror isn't great, um, neither is the romance, so, um, I think that's a little too loud. Um, but yeah, basically, um, you know, it's the story of Red Riding Hood, and it's, you know, it's got horror, it's very, very much a Twilight film, so, you know, it, 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 you're gonna get where you're gonna get there. Another Twilight-type film is Warm Bodies. Yes, Warm Bodies. Uh, I really, really enjoy this. I know a lot of people have um, just a ton of really negative feelings towards this movie. I, for one, enjoy this. Uh, Teresa Palmer is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, wow. John Malkovich is in this movie, too. Um, I, it's like a Romeo and Juliet with zombies. It's the same guy who directed All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. It's a very, very unique kind of movie. Again, this is even produced by Summit. And, yeah, this is a very Twilight-esque type film. And it's, you know, it's it's got that, got that same kind of vibe to it. Although I think it's a much better made film than, than uh, three of the five Twilight movies. But, you know, I digress. Now, these ones are definitely all horror horror themed um coming in at number three that is going to be the original my bloody valentine yeah i really enjoy this movie it's a really really awesome 80s slasher movie and yeah it's a solid flick i yeah it's got really good characters it centers around obviously valentine's bluff <laughs> what a name for a town um obviously has nothing to do with the, the movie being around Valentine's Day. You know, it was the 80s, so they did they did shit like that all the time. Um, yeah, it's really solid kills. Um, I still don't know whether or not I actually prefer the um, the uncut or not. I, I've watched it a couple times, and I'm just like, I I don't know. I don't know. Like, the, the cut flows better to me. Maybe it's because I've watched the cut so many more times. I don't know. 
I'll watch it two more times this Thanksgiving, or Thanksgiving, what the fuck, um, this Valentine's season, so we'll see. I, I really enjoy the film, though. Coming in at number two is the remake of My Bloody Valentine. I like the, the changes they make in this movie. I think this is one of those films that's just awesome. Jensen Ackles is in this, uh, Kerr Smith, um, uh, man, Sarah, is it Sarah, no, it's not Sarah Paxson, um, Jamie King, yes, the remake queen, who is in Silent Night, this, and Mother's Day, um, I think this is a fantastic slasher, and one that outdoes the 81 in gore, uh, definitely, and, uh, I just think this movie just has so many epic moments to it, I love that movie, um, yeah, and coming in at number one, from my favorite era of films, and that is Valentine. Yeah, there's something absolutely special about this movie that, um, yeah, you got Denise Richards and, um, oh gosh, um, Marley Shelton is in this too. Um, Catherine Heigl's in the front, first scene. She has like a glorified cameo. Uh, David, David, um, I, I remember, David Borneau, he is, um, I'm just going to say, he's one of the main characters in the movie. And, yeah, the the killer... Oh, you can't see... Well, this is the killer's face. Uh, the more I watch this, the more I love this movie. It's got a great vibe to it. I love the I love the, the friend's camaraderie. And I love... I, I don't know. I, I really like everything about this movie. The more I watch it, the more I just absolutely love it. And it definitely has to do with this like mood I've been in for like five months. I just have wanted to watch nothing but... Like, I, I've wanted to primarily watch, like, these era of films, and yeah, definitely um, has something to do with that. But yeah, you can see the floating heads in there, and it's just awesomeness. I love it. Uh, number one. So that does it for my top five romantic-themed horror movies. Not too many out there. Um, that's one area where I wish that we would get a little bit more of. Those are my two favorite genres, so I really would like to see them done well. Um, this is... Decent, decent, and these are basically horror films that just revolve around Valentine's Day that, I mean, this one does have romance, and the other two have romance, the My Bloody Valentine's have romance plots, but, you know, it's not really like they're very, very romantic, like that's like integral, like it's a romance film or anything, but... It is what it is. Well, maybe maybe it'll come out one day. Maybe I'll make it one day. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, check in next week, and we will have our top part threes coming in next week. So tune in next week, guys. Peace.